marks exactly five years since the mass shooting that stunned the nation. Many of the roads leading into Marikana were blocked due to protest action in the Majakaning area. But here in Marikana, the 16th of August remains a day that they want to remember. We are, we are here to uh, remember our fallen heroes who became uh, victims here on the grounds of Marikana. They were victims of a toxic capitalist system. A toxic capitalist system that was working with a lone meal to massacre our people when they were fighting just for a living wage and better working conditions. And tell me, what has changed here in Marikana in the past five years? I've, I've never seen change at all here and I think I will never see change as long as we are led by this rebellious government of Jacob Zuma. We'll never see change here. What happened here five years ago deserves justice. And until justice is upon our people, we are here not to celebrate, but to remember our fellow comrades who were killed here asking for a living wage. The reason we came here, it is because our struggle is to remember against forgetting. Because those who are in power will want us to forget the brutality which was unleashed by the police under the ANC government against innocent workers who were asking for a living wage. 16 August must be a day which is celebrated all over South Africa, Africa and all over the world, and not only in Marigana. 16 August must be like June 16, because there is nothing different between June 16 and Sharpville Day and Marigana Day. Workers, working class was killed by the government. Therefore, we must remember this day all over South Africa so that government does not repeat a similar mistake. It must not be exclusively celebrated here at the Kopi. We are going to attract new people. When we started here, Kolani, most leaders here, most people here, never wanted to associate with you. They called you criminals, but we won them over. We are going to win more other people over because we educate. Ours is not to pay a revenge, is to say to them, you were wrong to declare genuine demands of workers as demands of criminals. And as we baptize them, let us welcome them because this day does not exclusively belong to anyone. It belongs to the working class in South Africa. It must be celebrated by all. Fellow workers, last year when we celebrated here, we said we are going to give AMCU one million to build houses for the families. We did exactly that. We gave the families an AMCU one million. We are going to contribute more. AMCU must know that they've got an alliance in the EFF. If you want anything raised in parliament and you want it to be raised without fear or favor, come to us. We'll raise it and the whole world will pay attention. Thank you very much.
every day up to infinity. Thank you. It's been five years and the Marikane community are still seeking justice. No one has been prosecuted for the 34 miners who were gunned down here by police in 2012. However, 18 miners are facing murder charges for killing the 10 people who died in the week leading up to the mass shooting. What has changed is that AMCU is now the majority union in this area and the EFF was launched here in Marikana. But for the families of the victims, they're still waiting for some sort of change and for government to compensate them. Gia Nicolaides, Eyewitness News, Marikana.